viewers how are you welcome to my channel physics with the rats so today we are going to discuss about the thermodynamics and in this topic also we are going to learn about the work done in the case of isothermal process so before going to start this topic those who are new to my channel please subscribe my channel so that you can receive notifications regarding my channel as well as you can watch my previous videos so that you can clear your concepts in order to achieve the IATGE or in order to achieve the need. Remember one thing, learning physics is very very easy when you try to analyze it. So by analyzing we can learn a lot of uh, subject it means we can understand the physics in a very very easy manner. So let's start this topic. Now we are going to discuss about a thermodynamic system. Here the thermodynamic system is the system in which uh, pressure, volume and temperature so variables are being included. So based on these variables itself we represent the change of uh, the system state from the based on pressure, volume and uh, temperature. Next uh, we are going to discuss about uh, surrounding come to the case of this uh, surroundings surroundings is nothing but uh, the space around the system is being represented as uh, surroundings so it will be directly contact with the system that's why we call it as uh, surroundings so when we consider a isothermal process here the pressure is inversely proportional to volume at a constant temperature. So, here the temperature will not change, whereas uh, with respect to pressure, volume changes. Means that the graph between pressure and volume will be like this uh, based on this equation. Means uh, as the volume increases, pressure decreases. As the volume decreases, pressure increases. Let us uh, discuss by considering with uh, a system. Here we have considered an example in which uh, n moles of gas is present and uh, Above the surface of the gas, an I frictionless freely moving piston is being constructed. Now, when we heat the system, when we heat the system, means we are transferring heat to the system. As this system gains the heat, in order to maintain the constant temperature, the volume try to increase, thereby pressure decreases. So, when uh, the heat is not given to the system, here what happens is uh, when we try to compress it, uh, based on the pressure and the volume, as the volume decreases, uh, pressure increases to maintain the constant temperature. So in this way, we can represent a condition where the constant temperature is maintained by absorbing the heat or liberating the heat. Now we are going to represent the expression for work done in the case of isothermal process. Before going to study this, just take a screenshot, we will continue. Now we are going to represent the expression for work done in isothermal process. As we had represented that pressure is inversely proportional to volume. Here we consider the expression for pressure, where we know that pressure equals to force by area. Based on that, force equals to pressure into area. Now we are going to represent the amount of work done by the system or on the system by a displacement of dx. And see here we had considered a system in which the piston has been moved by a displacement of a dx then the amount of work done in this case is represented as a dw then the work done in this case is given as work done equals to force into displacement where the force has been represented as a pa into dx area into displacement nothing but change in the value then the work done is given as a dw equals to P into dp. 
So this represents the amount of work done for a small change in volume dv. Now we have to represent the net work done for the complete change in volume. For this, uh, we just integrate this equation where w equals to integration of p into dv. Let us consider the initial volume is represented as v1 and the fin final volume is represented as a v2. So the limits are being represented as v1 to v2. Now here work done equals to integration of v1 to v2 p into dv. When we consider the ideal gas equation, why? Because here we had considered n moles of ideal gas. So based on that, uh, here we consider the expression for ideal gas, where PV equals to n R T or PV equals to mu R T, both are same. So now based on that, uh, here P is equal to n R T by V. So in the place of pressure, when we substitute this n R T by V in this equation, we can represent the work done. So, W equals integration of n of t by v into dv within the limits v1 to v2. We know that the number of moles r and t are constant. So, the resultant expression is 1 by v into dv. Nothing but 1 by x into dx is log x. Then n of t into log v within the limits v1 to v2. Now, here, when we substitute the limits, the work done is given as W equals to NRT into log of V2 by V1. So, this represents the expression for work done in the case of isothermal process. As a, when we consider the Boyle's law, in the case of isothermal process, we have represented that Pressure is inversely proportional to volume at constant temperature. So based on that here we can represent that PV equals to constant. Then we can also represent it as a P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. So here as we consider this, when we bring this V1 towards this, V2 by V1 equals to P1 by P2. So in the place of volume, when we substitute the pressure, the work done expression can also be represented as W equals nRT into log of P1 by P2. This represents the work done expression in the case of isothermal process based on pressure and represents the work done expression in the case of isothermal process based on the volume. Just take a screenshot, we will continue. Now we are going to represent a work done in adiabatic process. Here the relation between pressure and volume in the case of adiabatic process is P into V to the power of gamma equals to constant where the pressure is given as P equals to K into V to the power of minus gamma means I have brought it to opposite So the power becomes a minus. And here already we had represented that the work done is given as a W equals to integration of P into dV. And after that P equals to K into V to the power of a minus gamma based on that we can represent it as k into v to the power of minus gamma into dv. And here, in the case of integration, we know that integration of x to the power of n into dx equals to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. So based on that, the expression can be represented as k into v to the power of minus gamma plus 1 by minus gamma plus 1 within the limits v1 to v2. v1 to v2. So, as we answer that uh, k by 1 minus gamma into upper limit is uh, v2 and lower limit is uh, v1. When we substitute the limit, so the expression is uh, v2 to the power of minus gamma plus 1 minus v1 to the power of minus gamma plus 1. When we separate uh, the base based on the powers, uh, the expression can be represented as 1 by 1 minus gamma into k 
k into v2 to the power of minus gamma into v2 i have splitted the power similarly minus k into v1 to the power of minus gamma into v1 now as you observe that k into v2 to the power of minus gamma is nothing but it is equal to a constant when we consider the eigenkanz equation we know that p v equals to n r t so here as you observe that k into v to the power of minus gamma is p let's substitute this so then here we get 1 by 1 minus gamma into p2 v2 minus p1 v1 this represents the work done in the case of adiabatic processor in terms of pressure and volume but as we had represented that p v equals to n r t so in the place of pressure and volume when we substitute n r t then the work done can be given as w equals to 1 by 1 minus gamma into n r t 2 the at p 2 v 2 pressure and volume the temperature is being considered as t 2 so we represent it as n r t 2 minus at p 1 v 1 the temperature is being represented as a t 1 so n r t 1 So that here we can take n r as common. Then uh, the work done is given as w equals to n r by one minus gamma into t two minus t one represents the work done in the case of adiabatic process. Take a screenshot. We we'll continue. Now we are going to solve problems based on isothermal process and adiabatic process. Observe the first question. A gas is expanded to double its volume by two different processes. One is isobaric and the one is isothermal. So now, if W1 and W2 be the work done, then find W1 and W2. Now in the case of an isobaric process, the work done is being represented as W1 equals to P into V2 minus V1. So now when we take V1 as common, so here I am taking a V1 as common. P into V1 or P1 into V1 into V2 by V1 minus one. Now P1 into V1 into V2 by V1 minus one. As we observe that volume has been doubled, means we can represent that final volume is a equal to double the initial volume. When we substitute this, here we can represent it as a P1 V1 into 2 minus 1. Then here we get a P1 V1. But according to ideal gas equation, here we can represent that P V equal to n R T. So in the place of P1 V1, we can substitute N R T1. This represents the work done in the case of isobaric process. Whereas uh, when we consider the isothermal process, we had uh, derived that work done equals to N R T into log of V2 by V1. So as we consider this equation, final volume is uh, double the initial volume. Then when we represent the expression as uh, N R T into log of uh, 2v by v, so here it gets cancelled. Then expression is n r t into log 2 represents the work done in the case of a isothermal process. Next, answer the second question. If a mono mono atomic ideal gas of volume one liter at n t p normal temperature pressure is compressed adiabatically. To half of its volume. Next, we have to find the work done of the gas. So now, initially at NTP, when the volume is one liter, the temperature is being given as V1 T1 equals to 273 Kelvin. Now we have to find the T2 based on these conditions. Observe so that final volume has been compressed to initial volume. Then V2 equals to V1 by T. When we substitute in this equation, as of that, T two into V one by two hold the power of gamma. In the case of mono atomic, the value of gamma is being represented as gamma equal to pi by three. So when we substitute here, pi by three minus one. 
equals to 273 into v1 to the power of 5 by 3 minus. Now, as we have that t2 equals v1 to the power of 5 by 3 minus 1 is 2 by 3 by 2 to the power of 2 by 3 equals 273 into v1 to the power of 2 by 3. After that, uh, we went to the power of 2 by 3 gets cancelled. Then a t2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 by 3 into 273. Then, uh, as we simplify this, uh, the temperature is represented as 431.6 Kelvin. This represents the temperature of the gas when it has been compressed identically to half of its own. Now, we have to find out the work graph. Where we know that work done it comes to N R T N R in by gamma minus 1 into T1 minus T2. Now we have to represent the number of moles. Where number of moles is given as a given volume by 22.4 liters. For every liter we have 22.4. So, N is being represented as 1 by 22.4. Then, observe uh, that uh, 1 into 8.314 by 5 by 3 minus 1 into 22.4 into initial temperature is 273. 273 minus uh, 431.6. When we simplify this, uh, here the work done is represented as minus 89 joules. Minus 89 joules is the amount of work done in the case of this uh, analytic process. Take a screenshot. Please give a like to this video, share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel.